What's up Elite Thenx athletes, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to another Thenx video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the best home chest workout for your inner chest line. Now when it comes to working out your chest, you can't isolate the inner chest line, but you can definitely emphasize on it. Meaning that you'll always be working your entire chest, but certain exercises can emphasize on the split of your chest. And if you're doing these exercises in multiple angles, you can grow and develop the inner split of your chest even more from the top to the bottom. Normally when doing chest exercises, you're extending and pushing away from the body. But when trying to emphasize on the split of your chest, you wanna be doing pushing exercises where your hands come together, push together, or even cross. And that's exactly what we'll be doing in today's workout, I'll show you five Five exercises that you can do for the split of your chest right from home. All you're gonna need is your own body weight and a set of dumbbells or anything else you can find to lift around your house. And to properly follow along with this routine, make sure you download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Open up to the YouTube workout section, you should find this routine, and we're ready to get started. For the first exercise, we're just gonna be using our own body weight, that's gonna be diamond push-ups. We're gonna be going for 12 reps. If they're too difficult for you to do on the floor, you can always do them on an elevated surface. And as you develop your strength, you'll eventually be able to do it on the ground. So let's go for the reps. You want to keep perfect form, hands together, make the shape of a diamond, come all the way down, all the way back up. So there we have the first exercise, diamond push-ups. Really emphasizing on the split of our chest, we have our hands together and also working our triceps as well. You really wanna focus on each contraction of the inner chest and as you reach the top of the repetition, you wanna squeeze your chest as hard as you can. Now we're gonna do our diamond push-ups again, this time at an elevated angle and we're gonna add a squeeze to the top of the repetition. So I'm gonna use this as an elevated surface. Hands are together like a diamond, go all the way down. When you get to the top, I want you to bring your hands up and let your pinkies touch and squeeze your hands together. Come all the way down, squeeze your hands together. 12 reps. All right. There we have the elevated diamond squeeze push-ups. If you tried that last exercise, you would notice that when you put your pinkies together and you have your hands touch, you get an extra squeeze in the split of your chest. That's a really good technique. I've been doing that one for years. Now we're gonna move on to the next exercise with the dumbbells. This is gonna be dumbbell hex press. We're gonna go for 15 repetitions. Now I'm using this bench here. Of course, you can lie down on the floor or find anything in your house. We're gonna grab the dumbbells, lay down, Put them together. Now you want to squeeze them together every single rep. Come all the way down, squeezing together. All the way at the top, still squeezing together. 15 repetitions. There we have 15 reps. Now we're gonna increase the angle, bring up the bench. We're gonna do the same thing inclined, now emphasizing more on the upper area of our split. So let's grab the dumbbells. Let's go for another 15. Right. Now we're ready to move on to the next exercise. That's gonna be plate press. Now normally you wanna do this exercise with the plate. You wanna have your hands together and you're holding the plate in place by squeezing your hands together versus gripping something. And this is why it's an excellent exercise for the split of your chest. Now I don't have a plate today, so I'll probably just use one of these dumbbells. This is already in an incline, so let's do it in an incline position. Now as you can see, I have my hands pressing together, not gripping onto the dumbbell, but at the bottom I have my thumbs hooked around so that it won't fall out for safety. So let's go all the way up, all the way down 10 times. <laughs> 
All right, let's flatten the bench so we can hit more of the angle in our chest. Let's go for it again, another 10. Make sure to be squeezing your hands together every single rep, all the way up, all the way down, constantly squeezing together. All right. Next exercise we're gonna get into, a classic for the split of your chest. We're gonna go for dumbbell flies. It's already flat, so we're gonna do it on the flat bench. Let's get down. Hands all the way up, squeeze together. You wanna to come all the way down and make the shape of like a plane. Come all the way back up. You don't want your hands up to your face coming down right here at your shoulders. Then you're working a lot of your shoulders and you can actually lead to injury if you're doing really heavy weight. So make sure your dumbbells are down below your shoulders when they come down. Have it. Let's go ahead, increase the angle, make sure that we're hitting more of the split. Let's go for 10 reps. There we have the last dumbbell exercise. We're gonna get into the last exercise now for our split of our chest. This is gonna be fly push-ups. If you're a beginner or if you find this exercise too difficult, you can always start off doing it on an elevated surface until you've built the strength to be able to do it right on the ground. So let's go for the last exercise, 10 reps. So we're gonna explode into a wide position, come up to the top, back down. have it, a killer move to finish off this routine, and my chest is pumped. And it's as simple as that to get a super effective workout for the split of your chest right from home with minimal to no equipment. So if you got through this routine with me, congratulations, you're on your way to building a solid chest. And the more you do this, the stronger and better you're gonna get. And eventually you'll be able to go for more rounds. And to benefit the most out of this routine, you wanna be able to do it at least three to four rounds. But with that said, if you enjoyed the workout, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. Share this video with a friend that can use a chest workout from home. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within the first First 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free the next year. And don't forget, for more workouts just like this, getting you in the best shape of your life, make sure you sign up to become a member at thenx.com. Once a member, you're going to get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts are going to have you shredded. And don't forget to download the Thenx app in the App Store to take all our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives right now. And if you'd like to see more of me during the week, make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel, youtube.com slash I post every single Thursday at 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. Every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me on IG. Now, lastly, before I go, I want to announce that we have a winter sale going on right now at thenix.com shop. So pick up your resistance bands, a weight vest, or some Thenix apparel before we're all sold out. And I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out.